No, I think it's uh, definitely a good idea to have uh, the different industry uh, players to connect together, especially when you look about this new dynamic we see on the market with these AI deployments. At Schneider, we, uh, we think that uh, we have a cross-industry collaboration to activate and to really de develop in order to uh, successfully deploy this AI in a sustainable way. So gathering industry leaders to exchange with, together with the politics to understand what does it take to deploy these new capabilities uh, in Poland. I think it's a, it's a great idea. So you see uh, these um, new AI data centers are coming with their new, uh, let's say, set of uh, specialties. Okay? Uh, rapid compute evolution, new, uh, new density, uh, need to scale at speed. Uh, we need to have a special power, power load profile to be managed and as well some uh, architecture variability. So at Schneider, we are uh, really par we are partnering with, uh, with NVIDIA in particular to really understand deep how the GPU uh, evolution is going because it all starts almost with the GPU. It's a major driver for the density. And out of that, working together with them to, uh, to really enable the industry to have an integrated end-to-end -end approach around AI and deploy these AI clusters. It's what we are calling grid to chip and chip to chill. So basically being able to provide the power from the grid down to the chip. And here it's about leveraging the uh, best uh, new uh, latest technologies that are enabling to have high performance, high efficiency, uh, solution like our uh, new uh, GVE XL reducing the carbon footprint, increasing uh, the uh, energy efficiency of the powertrain, and also being able to cope and to support this new dynamic load profile of, uh, of the uh, AI workload that we see in operation now within AI clusters. On the other hand, the second dimension is the uh, chip to chiller. So, it's a way you extract the, the heat all along the way to the heat rejections. It is new in a sense as well because of the integration of liquid cooling technology at scale. So now you have to deploy not only air cooling solution, but you have to combine them with liquid cooling solution, and in particular, direct to chip liquid cooling solution. And you have to think about the full integrated systems that are enabling to have a high efficiency development and also guarantee the performance of operation of the GPU in the racks. So here, being able to have the right level of expertise from the cold plate, the manifold, all along the way to the CDU, the cooling distribution units, and the heat rejection system that are able to optimize the full system as a whole. It's key. And at Schneider, as you know, uh, we have just completed the acquisition of Motiver, uh, which is a, a leader in the liquid cooling technology and positioning us as one of the leading uh, companies on the liquid cooling technology. So, you know, <coughs> at Schneider, we believe that uh, we cannot really talk about AI without talking about energy. It has to come along together. So when your question talks about the energy consumption for us, it's a, it's a key element. So um, we, it is about AI for energy, being, being able to optimize the energy, and also energy for AI, being able to supply all these new capacity of AI. And of course, we are facing kind of power capacity challenge right now on the market. It's true also in Europe. And one way to tackle the challenge is to think about to have an energy strategy tailored for AI, okay? And it's about, it's about not only creating new uh, grid uh, or physical infrastructure, it's about supporting the industry to really uh, drive the right energy procurement decision where the capacity is needed. It's about supporting the industry on the way to decide which kind of uh, on-site prime power generation could be articulated where and when. And also thinking about differently your backup strategy model, meaning turning potentially this backup strategy toward more green energy sources, being able to have more flexibility, being uh, activated out of them. By moving with more flexibility, it's enabled more grid decarbonizations and more renewable energy, activable and usable for all the community around the data centers.